Well, super welterweight contest next. It's a really super one, I reckon. Young Sissel is very useful. And of course, Peter de Klerk, we've seen him fight before on a Fox Bill 80, and I think he's useful. He could be, he could be an up and coming young um, fighter. He could be. He's got that MMA background. Um, these guys have actually fought before. They actually fought in November. It was to a draw. A lot of people thought maybe Cecil nicked it. So, again, we've got a, a revenge or rematch situation here. So, it'll be good to see what happens in this four round contest. So not much really happened to them since that fight. They've uh, both weighed in about the same sort of fight. Nothing, no weight rather, nothing really there to worry about. And the age difference, uh, nothing really. Yeah, the only thing I look at there is the reach of Cecil. You look at the reach, yeah. 186 centimeters compared to that of Peter de Klerk, 175. The reach might be an advantage, but again, very similar, very similar stature as well. So a, a great first, sorry, a great fight this one, and it should be a good super welterweight contest. I remember talking to him after the event. Interestingly, and I said to both of them, they both thought they'd won, which mm. they always do, and it was Boxers a draw. Always, they never think they lose. <laughs> no, and I said to them both of them, would you have rather had a draw or would you have had a loss against you? What do they say? No, oh, they'd rather have had the draw. And, and I thought that was interesting. Will we get a draw again? Will we get a loss? Someone was going to win, yeah, I think, this time. Absolutely. Um, let's see who it is. Well, let's, let's find out the boxers. Sorry. Let's find out the boxers. Let's get them into the ring and let's uh, join our MC for the evening. It's uh, Devon Curran. Ladies and gentlemen, the following bout is a rematch to take place in the super welterweight division over four rounds. Please welcome first to the ring, Cecil Maluleka. And let's hear it for his opponent, Peter de Klerk. Once again, this bout is a rematch in the Super Welt Debate Division to go over four rounds. This bout is sanctioned by BSA Boxing South Africa. Your supervisor at ringside is Archie Nyingwa. Your ringside physician is Dr. Noble with your three judges scoring the bout at ringside. Tony Yangiwe, Yap van Nivenhazen and Tabo Spampul with the referee in charge of the action at the bell, Namkla Chiluba. Introducing to you first, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner with the trunk colors of black and gold. His weight, 68.75 kilograms, with a record that stands. No wins, no losses, and a single draw. Please welcome Cecil Maluleka! And his opponent will be fighting out of the red corner with the trunk colors of red and white. His weight, 68.75 kilograms, with a professional record that reads, no wins, no losses, and a single draw. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Peter De Clark. Boxes to the center of the ring. Gentlemen, I expect a good clean fight. Shake hands, go to your corners, wish good luck. I think this is going to be a cracker because it was a good one last time around, as you mentioned. So let's see what happens. Let's see how they start this. They were a bit cagey first time, if you remember the first round. They were cagey. I almost feel like this is round five. <laughs> it was a four-round fight last time. <laughs> round it's number round five one. now. What? Wow. Yeah, no caginess here no, straight no, away. No. Peter de Klerk is going straight in with, with big shots. I always find it interesting how Guys from MMA background transition to boxing. And he lands a massive right hand. So I think it was a left hook that landed, wasn't it? Left hook. Clean. And th that's it for Melukela. I mean, he'll try and get up, but the referee's going to look at him here. What a win. How convincing win. was that, Barry? Unbelievable. Well, we said it'd be cagey. How wrong can you be? Oh, my word. I mean, there's a way to make a statement, and this kid just made a statement here. Didn't he just? What a great left that is. 
fantastic left hook. I mean, well, he was swinging with so many punches that I wasn't able to see which one it was, but it was definitely the left hook that landed. It was a left and very short. I think you'll see if we see the replay on it, you'll find it very, very short. And it just comes up and hits the button. And it's lights wow. out. Lights out completely. Manu Leko in the corner really doesn't know where he is still. No. He's almost shot. Look at his face. He's almost shot like, what's happening? He thinks he could have continued. He definitely no. couldn't have continued it. That, that was a big knockout. His head really hit the canvas. He certainly did, and, and it was a big one. I'm almost shocked the referee counted. You could have said it was over there and then. There was going to be no Tyson Fury moment here. <laughs> no. That was a, a, way, no a way to win a fight. A very, very short left hook. It was a cracker. And right on the button, you'll see. It's a really fantastic young Peter. Well done. And he was the fellow when after the fight last time around, I said to him, he was disappointed that he lost. And I said to him, how would it feel if you'd lost? Because the other boat didn't think he'd lost either. And he said, no, you're right, Barry. I, 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 you're right, I, I would accept the draw. But can we have another fight? And yeah, I, said, look, I, I can't can. wait to see him again on Fox. Look, I mean, that, that was what, 25 seconds? I mean, this kid could go again. I mean, he can go again next month. And I think that's what they should do. Let's have a look at the action again. I mean, they're both of them. Sort of went in straight away again, like you said, no feel out. Landed That's a hook the there one. and then bang. That's the one. Left hook and yeah. I mean his legs stiffened immediately. Whoa. That was a super punch. He threw one and then threw a second. There's the, there's the one. Now, here comes the second. That's it. Yeah, it's almost like he used the first one as a range finder. Okay, that's where you are. You're in my pocket, and then bang. And again, I mean, credit to Malukela for even trying to get up, but that there was one. no way to get up from that. Look Whoa. at that. Clean Good night. left hook. Lights are out. They've gone. It's incredible left. Even Stan Christodoulou sitting ringside, you watch his action, he can't believe it. It's happened so quickly. Unbelievable. That's and, very, And very I almost short. wanted to see a few more rounds. I wanted yeah. to see how the MMA guy could cross over to boxing and, and how good are his boxing skills. We still don't know yet. Yeah. But what we do know, he has power. I mean, and, and one thing you need in boxing, you know this barrier is power, and this guy has the equalizer. Unbelievable. So the only thing really we've got to find out is the time <laughs> that it took to just... Story. I'm Absolutely going to say destroyed. 20 seconds. And so let's, let's join Devon. Get that time, Devon. Ladies and gentlemen, that bout comes to an end in the opening round. 26 seconds <laughs> on the clock. Your winner coming by way of a knockout victory, Peter DeClaire.